New Emerson polling on the Sun Belt states showing Nevada 49% with uh, Biden plus two. Holy sh that race is tightening up. And Arizona with Biden plus two within a margin of error now, boys. Get some fire lit under your asses. I want you to feel the fear. I want you to get to where I've been. I've talked about this, but it bears repeating as always. Here's what's going on. First of all, that's the national uh, poll average. So it's literally meaningless. I'm sorry. Among those who plan to cast their ballot on election day, Trump 69%, Biden 27%. Okay, great. Not only does Trump need to hit like 80% for him to actually make the difference between all the early voting versus same day voting. Now, this still factors into my fears, which is they avoid counting the, uh, the, the absentee ballots. They avoid counting the early votes that came in through the mail until later and then he declares victory immediately and then by way of the supreme court they stop the count not the recount they literally stop the counting of vote of mail-in ballots because of brett kavanaugh's improper wording in his decision where he said absentee ballots postmarked or election day that comes in after will flip the result that would be available to us on november 3rd or immediately after now that's not a flip those are still fucking votes so this is going to turn into how the media reports on it. Now, let's say it looks like a red mirage, what they call a red mirage, where like everything looks red because fucking 70% of Trump supporters are coming in and only like 70% to 27%. That's crazy. And it looks like Trump won. Trump will literally say he fucking won the night of. And then all of the uh, ballots, for example, uh, in Pennsylvania that are all the absentee ballots and the early ballots will start getting counted in Pennsylvania morning of November 4th. That's when they start counting them. And Trump is like, absolutely not. I won. This is crazy. You're trying to steal the election by cheating. He gets the militias or even more nefarious than that. He gets the like marshals, for example, to seize the ballots the absentee ballots for election security. What do you do? What would you do in that circumstance? If Donald Trump decides, I'm going to use federal agents and marshals to seize the ballots, what are you going to do? Are you going to have state troopers defend those ballots? <sighs> Looks like Trump is winning on election day. Let's say Trump declares victory the night of. If it goes down like it did in 2000, then Fox News calls it for Trump across the country. And then the rest of the media follows. That's precisely what happened in the 2000 election. We also know that the media has carried Joe Biden leading up to this point. Put that old man in their backpack and they said, come with us, Joe. We're going to push you across the finish line. So it all comes down to a matter of whether the news will follow Fox News's lead and call it on the night of or not. Because elections are never actually authorized on November 3rd. That's just the media telling you through their projections what the count looks like. You have never in the history of American democracy, American democracy, maybe with an asterisk, you've never had authorized election results on the night of the election. That's not how it works. You get the authorized re results after all the fucking absentee ballots from overseas from our troops from our military members overseas when they come in and every single absentee ballot that was sent in before the election gets counted and then after that that's when you authorize the results so historically there is no precedent for what the fuck brett kavanaugh or donald trump's even talking about understand me doesn't work that way it's never worked that way but it doesn't matter most people don't know this most people think the media is just like immediately reporting on the counts that they're seeing same day so with all the pre-election shenanigans like trying to purge as many votes as possible through utilization of the Republican legislature and uh, federal courts, getting state secretaries to shut down polling stations in black and brown neighborhoods, making sure the black and brown neighborhoods or poor neighborhoods in general have to wait five hours to go vote, trying to stop the mail-in ballots, trying to purge pre-election and then also post-election as many mail-in ballots as possible might put Trump within striking distance of re-election and then on top of that they can just uh throw a gigantic fucking tomahawk in the middle of the whole process by claiming victory the night of so if fox news declares victory for donald trump and donald trump declares victory and the rest of the media does not follow through on that what will happen because that's the conversation that we need to be having right now that's exactly why i've been saying how powerful is the right-wing media infrastructure? How powerful is it? Is the Hunter Biden story sticky? Because got virtually no coverage whatsoever from liberal media outlets, the legitimate media outlets did not really cover it all that much, but it did get a lot of coverage on Fox News and it got a lot of coverage, especially in the more psychotic AM radio, 
and even I would say local news broadcast too. So judging by that, and then looking at if Fox News, if, and that's a big if, if Fox News declares Trump the winner, and if Trump declares himself the winner, in that circumstance, what happens? Now, do I believe Joe Biden will fight back? No, I don't. If we get a blue Senate and a blue house, we fucking take it on the chinny, bruv. And we say, look, at least now we can hold Trump accountable. Even with all the odds in favor of Joe Biden, with all of this trickery, worst case scenario, that's what could happen still. And having said all this, this is off of just one poll that says 69% of same day voters say they're going to vote for Donald Trump. This is off of just one poll. Even with all of this, some states have already started counting. I'm going to paint you a better picture now. The media might refuse to say, no, 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 it's not happening. We are not going to know the results tonight. We are not going to know the results tonight. No matter what Donald Trump says, we are not knowing the actual official authorized results tonight. But even our projections are incomplete because of the lack of access to millions of people that voted because like texas in the state of fucking texas more people have officially voted in early voting than the fucking 2016 election you can't call that election without looking at all those votes you just can't do that yeah, among those who have already voted the estimates are that uh, 66 percent say they've voted for biden and 32 percent say they voted for donald trump are you seriously implying the democrats won't contest the result if trump declares victory that's the dumbest thing i've heard all day what the fuck are you saying we'll see brother we shall fucking see because there's not really anything they can do if they take it up to the supreme court and the supreme court in an overwhelming conservative majority even if roberts is like no doesn't fucking matter you got kavanaugh you got Amy COVID. They're absolutely going to vote alongside the Republican position. And Donald Trump, and this is actually really good. Donald Trump is a fucking demon of messaging. That's why I was surprised when he was like harping on this Hunter Biden ship for so long. He's been laying the fucking groundwork for months, dude. He's been saying mail-in ballots are fake news. Don't do mail-in ballots. Go vote in person. Now, Biden has assembled a team of 600 lawyers in case Trump tries to claim victory. Sure. What are they going to do? So you're saying that Trump is going to find a way not to count the bottom majority mail-in ballots? He's going to find a way to purge as many of those as possible, either on the ground. Now, this is a little bit less likely. This is less, uh, this is more decentralized. So it would be very difficult for every single Republican that works in fucking county commissioners to turn around and be like, we're going to purge as many like signature matches on black communities as possible. But through signature matching, through like name matching, through naked ballots in Pennsylvania, you could very easily just be like, oh, sorry, you didn't mail in your mail in ballot appropriately. So they can do that. And then on top of that, Donald Trump could contest the results, especially if it's close. And it's close in fucking places like Arizona, as we are seeing. It's one of the margin of error. You do realize Trump voters say they're voting Biden to avoid harassment. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start banning idiots that say shit like this. No, you're a fucking moron, dude. Like, when have you ever met a Trump voter that says, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a secret. They, you can tell a Trump voter from a mile away because they're all wearing, like, Trump gear. They're weebs, brother. It's wild how quiet these Trump supporters have been. Like, they clearly are not telling pollsters they're supporting Trump. You know, the silent majority chat. Notice how silent this majority is. Why are these guys doing this, by the way? It's not because, like, a Trump supporter was killed by the fucking police or anything. They're doing it just for funsies. These motherfuckers shut down the highway to just celebrate Trump. When black people shut down the highway because black people were getting killed extrajudiciously by the state, then that's unacceptable, brother! Wait, haven't early ballots already started to be counted, so projections on election day would at least be somewhat accurate? No, because early ballots have not been uh, counted on purpose in certain states. Pennsylvania, for example, is not counting early. Literally waiting until November 4th to start counting all the mailed in ballots. Some states are, of course, counting early. Michigan, I believe, is counting early, right? How much of the voters expected to be counted on election night? Nearly all, mostly, but not all, only some. Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, or it doesn't really matter. These, these places don't really matter, but like in states that actually do matter, this is huge. Florida is huge. Florida counting nearly all, that's a big deal. Pennsylvania is only counting some. That is a huge deal. Texas mostly, but not all. California is only some, but that doesn't matter. California is blue anyway. The reason why Florida is on the uh, on the money with this is because there's already a system, a system, if I'm not mistaken, Florida, old Republicans vote by mail too. Part of the reason why they, uh, they have established a better protocol for vote by mail. Up until this election, it wasn't Democrats that voted by mail or voted early. In a lot of places, Republicans voted by early too. Look at fucking Utah. 
Did I say voted by early? Voted by mail early. Here's the long and short of it. The Trump campaign plans on declaring victory on election night and then framing any additional votes that would change the outcome as illegitimate. They've been telling us for months that what their plan is, it's time to listen. Look, in American politics, Republicans lead the way. Democrats are cucks and they follow. Republicans lead the way. What have I told you? If you want to look like you know the future, if you, if you want to look like you can predict the future, just listen to Republicans and take them at their fucking word. Republicans lie about the outcomes of their policies. They make it seem like their policies are good for the people and they're not, but they don't lie about pushing for it. They weren't lying when they said they're going to steal this election. They've been telegraphing it for months. If you want to look smart and impress all your friends and look like you know what's going to happen, just listen to Republicans. Now, by the way, Having said all this, uh, I didn't get to the good part, like the, the best possible outcome, um, but I will do that after we listen to Jason Miller saying literally what Brett Kavanaugh's decision was in the Supreme Court uh, last week. If you speak with many smart Democrats, they believe that President Trump will be ahead on election night, probably getting 280 electorals somewhere in that range, and then they're going to try to steal it back after the election. We believe that we will be over 290 electoral votes on election night, so no matter what they try to do, what kind of hijinks or lawsuits or whatever kind of nonsense they try to pull off, we're still going to have enough electoral votes to get President Trump so reelected. I need to hear what the fucking counter to this is. What do you mean, steal back? What do you mean steal the election? Like there is no stealing the election. If we're counting votes, you rotund, circular looking fuck. There is no like theft there. It's just regular elections. These motherfuckers call regular elections theft. Look at this bulbous piece of shit. Looking like my fucking hairy thumb, dude. Do you think Republican lawsuits to stop the vote count would actually work though? Wasn't there a 2018 Republican lawsuit in Florida to stop the count and it didn't work? Like there's no legal basis for stopping the count, right? It doesn't matter. The Supreme Court decision from the Wisconsin case can be now utilized as a previous precedent. Like when you're a Supreme Court justice and you write a decision that reflects on your future decisions uh, going forward. If you have a 6-3 permanent supermajority in the Supreme Court and they turn around, they say, yeah, we're not going to count these votes because we think that this reflects poorly on the integrity of the elections. And they turn around and say, all the fucking uh, ballots counted after November 4th, if they change the outcome, if they flip the outcome of the election, they will distort the democratic process and therefore we can't count them. And that's it. What are you going to do? The only thing you can do in that situation is literally revolt. Like there's nothing else you can do in that circumstance. If a mailed in ballot is postmarked on election day and it's received before or after even, if it should be even received after and she'll still be counted. But let's say it's just postmarked for election day and it gets received before election day or on election day. If those mail-in ballots don't get counted or the notion that it uh, changes the outcome, then you have completely just fooled the people into voting for nothing. Like they literally, you just said, nope, doesn't matter. You can't vote. This is yet another case where I've talked about like the most extreme and worst case scenario so much that like everyone thinks like this is definitely what's going to happen. So I have to, once this video is over, I will talk back about the best parties. case scenario. <laughs>
Donald Trump is the Republican Party. He's this is a fucking shriveled old asshat that wild. ended up voting for Donald Trump's agenda, which is literally the Republican agenda, by the way. Those guys were in positions of power before Donald Trump, and they will most likely be in positions of power after Donald Trump. It's the same America, and it's the same Republican Party, and it's the same Democratic Party. That's why I get frustrated as shit when Biden says, oh, my transition team is going to feature Republicans, Jack. It's like, no, fuck that. That's bullshit. Even if Donald Trump fucking something bad happened to him, let's say tomorrow, okay, in a hypothetical, he goes away. It doesn't matter because his fucking supporters are still there. The networks of disinformation are still there. The networks of radicalization are still there. The white supremacist militias are still there. They're already suckling on the teat of white supremacy that's built into the foundations of this country. It's already inside of the police networks. It's already inside of like, you know, militia networks all around the country. What do you think is going to happen? Someone is going to take over and grab the reins of all of that and use it to their benefit. We got to deal with this shit immediately, dude. I mean, this is so bad. We looked at the Tea Party and we're like, oh, it can't get any worse than this. No, it can get worse than that. It is getting worse than that. No matter what the fuck happens with Donald Trump, that shit's not going to go away. And liberals are going to go to sleep in the next four years after like a liberal administration. We're unironically going to have some fucking sicko white supremacists like Tom Cotton uh, take control of everything and utilize the white supremacist militias and also be ideologically grounded as a fascist. Good luck, America. If Biden loses, will you protest? I mean, not only will I be protesting, but I'll be covering it too. No matter what happens, win or lose, it's, the shit's about to get fucked up. Are you saying Republicans also have the right to protest if Trump loses? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I would love, love for Republicans to protest if Trump loses. That's funny as fuck. That's content gold, bitch. What do you mean? I mean, don't get horny and, like, kill someone. My fear is that, like, Republicans who have already killed more than Antifa has are going to actually, like, you know, do some psychotic shit. No, I would love... Whew. Ooh, it gets me so horned up thinking about Republicans crying at protests. Oh my Lord, that'd be so good. Oh, I, I hope. I'm counting on it, dude. Free content all the way, baby. I'm going to give myself 24 hours if Donald Trump loses and Joe Biden wins. I'm going to give 24 hours to myself to celebrate and act like Joe Biden is going to be a good president for like 24 hours. And then immediately the next day, I have to go back to being honest. Like he'll announce his cabinet positions and I'll lose it immediately. In order to preserve bipartisanship, we're keeping Betsy DeVos as, sec <laughs> as the education secretary, Jack. 